Hello, I'm James. And I'm Colin. And welcome to Let's Talk Retro. And today we want to talk to you about this. This is the build your own electronic ping pong game from Haynes. So that's uh, quite a nice t-shirt you've actually got on there, James, I yeah, noticed. It's uh, brand new. I see you have one too. Yeah, it's a his and his job. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Let's Talk Retro t-shirts are now in. And uh, designed by myself. And uh, I think it was your idea to actually have the NES kind of a member right. We designed these actually ages ago. And they just got around to getting them actually put on the shirt. So, uh, yeah, we thought we'd be proper geeky and get some t-shirts yeah. made. <laughs> But anyway, so we're uh, actually not here to talk about the t-shirts. No. We don't um, want to sell you a t-shirt or no, anything. No, no, we don't. Um, but if you want to buy one, uh, you could get in touch. I don't think you would want one, <laughs> but if you do, then... Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, but anyway, so we're here to talk about this. This is by Haynes, uh, the people that make the car manuals. Yeah, I've got a few car manuals, and uh, I've had a go at repairing a few cars um, in my time. But they've gone on to gifts. Yeah, and to these electronic build-your-own-game things. And uh, this was actually given to me for my birthday last year. It's nearly my birthday again. It's taken me like a whole year to get around to sorting this out. It was given to me by a good friend of ours, Matt. And uh, Matt gave it to me. He said he, he, he didn't give it to me actually on my birthday. He wanted to wait until he got me something that I really thought, he really thought I'd want. And he got me this. And he thought it was just all just a matter of plugging it all in. Okay. And the way it was going to go. But it's not. No, there's a bit of soldering involved. It's a kit. Involved. Yeah, there's a, bit of kit and a bit of soldering involved. Um, and I've never, never soldered before, I've not got a soldering iron. So I kept saying, I'm going to buy myself a soldering iron and I'm going to put this kit together. Never got round to it. So eventually I realised I had soldering irons at where I work. <laughs> so I decided to take it in. I got a friend there to help me do a bit of soldering. Is this when you were supposed to be working and being paid to work? Um, no, it was in my lunch break. Oh, lunch break, okay, good. Yeah, it was yes. in my lunch break. Good. And uh, watching. yeah, um, yeah, lunch break, brilliant. So, and uh, yeah, so well we got this thing working, and uh, we're gonna take a look at it today. So, it comes in a case, a box like this, basically. And then inside that box, I can't put this box in there anymore because you've got these, these knobs on it. And uh, basically, that was inside, obviously, inside this box with all the kit inside uh, that you needed to, to make it all that to get it working. You have to put the knobs through the box, and it basically. If you can see that, it actually makes... It is a Pong clone. Pong, Pong game with an LED screen. There we LEDs. go. This is not a toy, it says. Well, it is, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? So if I take it, let me just show you. If we open it up a little bit, you can see the inside of it. I'll, so I'll get some better pictures of this, but that's where you have to solder the wires. It's ah. a very thin wire. So that's like an LED array with some... Dodgy soldering. There you go. There we <laughs> go. We get close. How close? So, um, if you're an expert solderer, leave a comment below how bad that saying is. Saying what you think of that. <laughs> it's not an easy thing to solder. I promise you that. Yeah. I but thought this is this is so who's the, who's this aimed at? Well, it's obviously the gift market. Yeah, I don't know. Just anyone. Geeks, geeks like us. Geeks like us. Oh look, there's a three double A's. Yeah, three double this A's. Drawing some power. Yeah. And um, there's you a, have to a solder that on as well. And oh look, you've got some wire spare. Yeah, they some wire they spare. give you loads of wire there. Yeah, and you've got, you ma got a Haynes manual in there. Right, let's have a look. Well, it tells you all about how to play the game and right. how to do it all. Build your own arcade game. Of course, the soldering iron we had at work was only one sort of power, you couldn't turn the power down or right, anything, which makes it awkward to do. There's a full on guide here. Microcontroller circuit board with LED display. Yeah. That's what it's actually called in here. Two ten kilo ohm linear potentimeters. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Two knobs for pots. Battery compartment for three double A's. Um, some insulated stranded hookup wire. Mm. Cable. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> uh, what else we got? Two pre-cut bare wires. Packed under E. So look, they've they've labelled each section so you know what what is what, and then it's labelled here. And some self adhesive dots not shown. Yeah, that's what for, were the self adhesive. Oh, to stick hold in the this little screen, screen, like a little screen that goes over it's the top, like little a, plasticky dome. It's concave, isn't it? Is yeah. It? 
It's like a dome. Oh, Remember, to you used to get a TV effect. Yeah, yeah you used to yeah. get that sort of effect on the monitor and on the TV. So keeping it retro. Shall we? Sh shall I badly read out what it says in here? You can do. Okay, hey, build your own retro arcade game. Build your own game console with a two-player table tennis game. Pong. Yeah. Why didn't they call it Pong? Is that because it's copyright? Maybe. Atari, maybe. maybe. Possibly. Table tennis. Take yourself back over 30 years. It is. And immerse yourself in the past, a time when the first electronic game came to the market. The table is depicted on a display consisting of 120 individual LEDs and shows the bats and the ball. It's all controlled by modern AT Mega 8 microcontroller. That's what it is. The AT Mega 8. Never think I know it. you've heard about it, and it but it's, you've amazingly got one. So, um, yeah, we'll have to look at the specs of that. Uh, I guess it's just a basic you know, controller. Two knobs allow you and your playing partner. Yeah, it's one or two players. Playing partner. Have you ever heard that before? <laughs> I haven't. Um, yeah, your playing partner. To move the bats. If you like, you can play against the microcontroller. You can, yeah. So, not so against the computer. No, the microcontroller. The microcontroller, yeah. look, there you go. Uh, it's a step up from the computer. It probably. is, yeah. They're trying to, do you think they're trying to make this a bit more... Than what it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, each new game is started by inserting a coin. So, yeah, there you go, you just like a, a real... Arc you put your coin in and it actually works. Well... We'll, get it, we'll do a little game in a minute so they can see it all work. Okay, yeah, I'll just finish boring you yeah. with this. <laughs> if you don't mind, that is no, I'll continue. I don't mind. The current score is shown on the display and you can choose the speed of the game. Yeah, you can even choose the speed of the wow. game. Wow, okay. So when you get really good at it, you can... Yeah. I don't know, how many levels has it got? I'm, I'm not sure. I've not actually, actually... I've only played against a computer a few oh. times, so... You can also go online for tips and tricks. Oh, I Is that, that when yet. you realise you can't put it together and you go <laughs> online? And yeah. uh, it gives you some little bits of spec information. And there's some step-by-step -step pictures. So, wouldn't this be, this would be a good gift for... Um, the geeks like us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Geeks like, uh, as, Matt, as Matt thought. You want to get your, your young child that teach them a little bit about how this works. Yeah, it's a nice project. It's, yeah. it's a nice little project. If, you, if you're good at soldering, obviously I'm not. But if you can solder... How many um, wise is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points to yeah, solder. You had to like take a little bit of the wire out, which is really There's tricky. some more pictures, if you can see those. So it's pretty... But if, you're like, if you've got well like a kid, out. if you've got a kid and you want to have a nice little project to do together some at the weekend and make an electronic out. game, yeah, it's uh, definitely worth, worth buying, if you ask me. It's, uh, like I said, I don't know how much it costs because it was given to me as a gift, but... I don't even know where you can buy them from, but I suppose if you look online, Google probably is your yeah, friend, as I'm they sure, say. Yeah, I'm sure Amazon do them or yeah, eBay. Probably. If you want to get, maybe there's more. Maybe there hope it could be a whole set. There could be. Maybe I'm this first sure. thing, this Christmas, Space maybe Invaders. Maybe Pac-Man or Space Pac Invaders, yeah. Or they'll call it something else like yeah. Martian... Can't have Munchman on the Martian, Batman, that's already been taken. Martian <laughs> Visa Overstayers. <laughs> Where does that come from? I don't know. Um... <laughs> Technical specs, uh, right? Further projects. You will find out lots of un. You will find lots of unused connectors on the circuit board. All right, so we can do more with it. These are partially required for manufacturing and also be useful for your own projects. All right, so you can mod it. So you could, yeah. We we'll have to go online and see if anyone's done a, like a hack of this. And the website is eight, as in the number eight, but the spell. 8innovation.com So they've obviously Mod it to play ha space got in touch with Haynes and <laughs> Haynes have said yeah, hack it and um, yeah 8innovation 8-innovation or hyphen innovation.com but they say to go to that when you've, when you've had enough of playing with it right. so when you're so, bored with it yeah. basically but yeah, nice right. little guide so you can sit and so we shall we bring the camera in and we'll yeah, have a game and they um, can have a look and see how this thing actually works. I know you're like. itching to see what this looks like yeah. and let's get it on. Okay, so we're ready for a game and I've got my 10 pence here uh, ready to go. So you just pop your 10 pence in the slot, see the game comes up. You need to turn that one, otherwise it's going to be uh, uh, 
single player if you have the... Oh, the, so this sets the uh, how many players? Yeah, yeah. You can, if you have, leave it down the bottom oh, there, right, okay. that, that one will be con com computer controlled. Micro controller? Oh, micro controlled, yeah. Playing the micro controller. Right, so we've got a okay, bat, you've got the ball. Is there. So as I go down and hit that, you see it starts moving. Oh, oh. oh what a so, rubbish start. And you've got one there, so that means it's one nil to me. Oh, hey. Oh, yes. And you'll see it comes at two there, so that means it's two nil. Right. There's no sound, is there? No, there's no sound. <laughs> Maybe that's version two. Maybe, yeah. There's, um... Maybe you need a super microcontroller <laughs> for sound. Quite playable, and then when you're uh, both all this, so now you'll see it say two there, and there's one over there, means it's two one. Good stuff. And it's the first one to light up all the lights across their side of the screen, so it's two two. So, what I've noticed the control's quite spot on. Yeah, you, just, you don't no... have to move it much. Yeah, and you can actually, if you speed up a bit as you go to it, you can get a bit of angle oh, on where you want it to. Put a spin on it. Yeah, where you actually want the ball to go. It wasn't very good that time. But see there, look. Trying to catch me out. <laughs> oh no! Three. It's three two. You can see looking oh, close all the three all. All the LEDs are numbered, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. So the ball starts near you when you're serving, and you tap it. Yeah. Oh, four three to you. There we go. You're serving. Oh, <laughs> yes. Went down a bit slow. That's, that's that so while four. you're watching this, leave a comment. Is it better than you thought it would be or not? I mean, it's good that you've got single player as well, so you've, you've given me a right flash. Yeah, what if, yeah, if you're an only child like me. Yeah, so it's good you've got single player. You can play against the, the microcontroller, as they called it, is it? Yeah, microcontroller. Oh, you're going to win this. You need two more to win. That's it. I'm sure everyone's getting like really excited. Oh. I'm going to start to try to pull this back. This has to be the most riveting video. <laughs> oh no! Yes. He needs one more to win. One more to win. Okay, here we go. Oh no! Yes! I can't believe I've lost it. My own game. I've even practiced and played it a bit. So then, once you've done that, it tells you what the final score was. You know, you won, and then it's just turned itself off. Ready for another queen and to uh, play again. So it's quite coin hungry then. <laughs> the temp oh, it even tells you that tempi. Yeah. And that makes the connections to fire it up. So yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's all right, wasn't it? It was. So I enjoyed playing that and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah, it's uh, the, the it's screen pop. display is, is really crisp. Really crisp and bright in there. You can see what you're doing. It's brilliant quality. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, so I like it. I'd like, uh, again, I'd like to say thanks to Matt for giving that to me for my birthday, uh, obviously last year. Um, but yeah, it's, cheers for that, mate. Um, uh, it's turned out to be a really cool gift. Uh, something I'm glad to have in my collection. Um, I think we're going to give it. We're going to give it the Let's Talk Retro seal of approval. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's. Uh, let's say it's fun. It's good. Um, the only thing I wasn't sort of quite. Well, the thing I found it hard about it was obviously the soldering, because I can't solder, never soldered before. Mm. Um, Do they make it clear on the box that you have to...? Uh, it doesn't, no. Don't, not until you actually see the instructions. Mm. I say Matt didn't think there was any soldering involved. So you've got a Christmas day, yeah, and you, you need, didn't have a soldering iron. Yeah, you've got to do a lot of work. Maybe you could glue it or something to the podge, <laughs> but... But yeah, but I say, uh, Matt didn't think there was any soldering involved when he gave it to me, but there was. But um, but yeah, so but apart from that, it's really good. Once you get it up and running, it's enjoyable. It's a good project to do with your kids, you know. I mean, we're moaning, moaning about the soldering, and somebody else would be thinking, well, hey, this is great, you know. Yeah. Little, this is the whole point of this kit Teach is your kids to soldering do, as do well. soldering, yeah. So, Someone said, don't burn the carpet with the soldering. <laughs> so we'll give it a Let's Talk Retro seal of approval. I think, what, about 8 out of 10? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. So, 8 out of 10 for this. And uh, so, we hope you enjoyed uh, the video as well and seeing that in, in action. Uh, but until next time, James, what are they going to do? Keep it retro. Yeah, as always, keep it retro, guys. We'll see you soon.